Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be changing the color of this house right here, and we'll be doing that to match a swatch that I've scanned over here. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, and of course, share. You can support my channel through Patreon, and don't forget to subscribe. I do several videos each week. There's my current schedule. And take a look at my complete training courses for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. The first thing to do to make a color change or paint a house like this is to make a selection around the part that you want to color. And I've done lots of videos on making selections. So I won't be going over that again this time, but I'll basically describe that. And I've already saved my selection up here, so let's go ahead and load in that saved selection. There it is. So what I did was I first made a big selection around the whole house like this. There we go, big selection. Then using the refined edge tool, I cleaned it up around the bushes here, here, and right down there. And then using the selection tool, I was using the polygonal lasso tool on this. I set that for subtract from selection which is right here and then simply made new selections around the windows to subtract those from the overall selection. I also got my feathering at zero for this. You can use either zero or one but in this case the zero works out pretty well. So do a basic selection just like this. You have that nice selection and it includes all the parts you want to color change and then blocks everything else out. Once you've done that Make sure you save your selection. Go up to Selection, come down to Save Selection, give it a new name, and you'll have your selection saved. Again, I already saved mine. I just saved it as a as house, as my name. So we have our selection made. We can then deselect that. We'll be coming back to that in just a bit. The next thing you want to do is to take your background layer and make a new layer, either drag it up here to the new layer button or right click on the name and choose duplicate layer and okay there we go we'll be working on this layer I like doing this and then I'll hide that background that's just my safety in case I mess things up I can always go back to that layer saved inside of the file okay on this layer we need to remove the color from this overall layer so let's go up here to enhance come down to adjust color and remove color right there. It just makes it a black and white image you, you can see there. Now we have a, our black and white image. This gives us all of our levels in here without having any color to worry about. Let's go ahead and bring back up that selection. So select and load selection this time and house is the one that I saved it as. Choose OK. There's that selection that we talked about previously. Now go up here to the add layer mask button. Click on that and it gives you a layer mask showing you just that part of the house that you want to colorize. Go ahead and bring our background back in again. You can see there we are. We have a nice black and white for just the wall of the house. Everything else has remained in color. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and colorize this. Now I want to match this or colorize this based upon a swatch that I made. So let's go over here to my photo bin. And here's some swatches. I just grabbed this over at the local paint store, and it's some actual you know, house paint colors. And then I scanned it on my flatbed scanner. We'll go ahead and we'll use this one here. It's called Blue Strata. So we need the color from this. So I'll use the eyedropper tool, or just click on the foreground color right there. And with the color picker active, that gives us that eyedropper tool. Just come in here and select a color. Notice if I go around a bit, I get a whole range of different colors in there. So it's not really perfectly accurate on this. What I need to do is to get this more stable as far as the color goes. Kind of get it so I have a better and more consistent color. Now I could just zoom in real tight and try to find that spot in there. But there's another way to do that. Let's just grab the polygonal lasso tool. I'll cancel that for a second. There we go, polygonal lasso tool, and let's just do a lasso of a section right in here. There we go. Now, let's make a new layer from this. Again, I always like to leave my background layers alone and not touch those. So we'll do a new layer from this. That's a layer, new 
via copy. There's our new layer right there. I'm going to hide everything else so that we can see that. Let's now switch over here to the standard move tool right there. Hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail for this layer. And that selects the contents of that layer. In other words, it just reselects that area. Now we want to blend all this stuff together to give us a nice consistent color. So go up to filter, come down here to blur and the Gaussian blur right there. And if I pull this up pretty high, you see we get kind of a soft edge happening in there, but the middle is going to be real consistent on that color. That just blends all those colors together. Gives us a nice consistent color in the middle area here. Okay, now that that's done, let's go back to our color picker. And if I click in the middle here. Now notice as I'm clicking around now a few spots how the color over here is no longer changing as I'm doing that. So we've now evened out all those colors and it's now consistent. So if I click anywhere here in the middle, that will give me that actual swatch color. And choose OK. All right, let's just get that out of the way now. I'm done with that. Just choose Save. And there we go. Get okay, back to our picture. So now we need to have a new layer up here. There's our new layer. And then let's fill this layer with that foreground color. That's our swatch color. So that's the paint bucket and fill the layer. There it is. Now we only want the color in the part of the wall that we want to change. So come down to this layer mask. Look for that light blue outline. If you don't see that, if it's over here like that, just double click over here. So you get that light blue outline. Hold the Alt key down and pull this straight up. What that does is it copies this layer mask up to this layer. So there we go. There is that color just sitting on top. And I've lost all the detail, obviously, because we're looking at just flat color in this. We need to blend the color into our layer underneath. So go up to this swatch layer and change the blend mode to color. Right there. And that gives us back all the light and dark parts of that and gives us that nice colorized look for the wall. And it's really that easy to do to actually match a color from a swatch and apply it to a wall. You need the black and white image down here. You need the layer mask. And then you just need to use a blend mode of color to apply that. Let's do another one, just a different color in here. I'm going to hide this layer. Make a new layer. Let's find something else. Let's go down here to our nice bright yellow colors. Kind of a nice soft house color. Your softer colors are over here on the left hand side. So that's something over in here somewhere. A lot of white in that yellow. Choose OK. Let's fill this layer again with that paint bucket. There it is. Same exact trick. Go to the layer mask. Either one doesn't matter because of the same thing. Hold the Alt key down. Put straight up onto this layer. There it is. We're now seeing that color on that layer and then change the blend mode down to color and it applies that. Now some colors will look a lot darker like this because of course we have a dark background, light color dark background, it's going to look a lot darker. So if this happens you need to brighten up the black and white layer down here and to do that let's add an adjustment layer. So layer, come down to new adjustment layer, levels right there. Where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask, make sure that is checked. Choose OK. And your control down here, the middle control, is what lightens up that whole thing. So you can just lighten it up right there and bring that back up to the color you want. Just visually match this with your eye over here and over here. If you begin to lose too much detail in there, you can bring the blacks in a bit left hand side. And that will bring back in a little bit of that detail. You can see it in the shadows right down here as I go back and forth on that. There you go. It kind of brings back in those shadows just a little bit. And there we go. It's a slight adjustment here with a levels layer. We now have our nice wall painted yellow. Now the reason I did this as an adjustment layer is in case I want to go back and forth between these different colors. Obviously the blue now is wrong so I can just hide that adjustment layer. There's our blue color. Let's go back to our yellow and bring back that adjustment layer and then the yellow is correct. So there you go. That's how to paint a house using either a color that you've chosen here inside of Photoshop Elements with the yellow and an adjustment layer as needed or 
a color that you've grabbed from a paint swatch.